And hello again everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and today we're going to knock out some more, see if we can get fuel generators set up, and see if I can get the SAM, SAM or whatever they call it now, stuff up and running, and maybe do a few more milestones, but let's get started. I did too. Oh, hi buddy. There's my friend. Do you have anything for me? No, not right now. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, Lizard Doggos moved in up onto the space elevator platform. He got stuck behind some industrial containers for a while, but now he's pretty happy. Um, I did do a little bit of work while offline. As usual, all of that is sitting on my, um, or most of that's sitting on my Twitch channel, which is linked down below. But uh, right now, let's see if we can get the next piece of this set up and running. Milestone reached. The transportation of resources can reach new heights of efficiency. With the Mark IV belts and lifts, the truck, but even more importantly, your effort. Handling a large and complicated vehicle like the truck should come easy to a well-trained pioneer such as you. They are an obvious improvement over tractors concerning industrial purposes. Improvements for personal use were not measured. Yeah, of course they weren't. Okay, um, so that just leaves fluid packaging. And again, I've got all that stuff. I just have to bring it over from wherever it is. Um, I did do a little bit more work offline, um, as I was saying. Uh, main thing I did was I went down to that um, my small coal plant I had down to the south uh, if you remember that one in a little cramped area and threw up some more coal generators because I just started running out of power and there was nothing else I could do until I could get power up and going so I've got that running right now I also if you remember I made an update to my steel plant or to my steel production where I had now had um, basically half again stealing at production I <coughs> excuse me I went over to whoops and I may have just killed myself yeah there we go I went over to the, um, there and upgraded my, um, production chain there, so I'm producing everything now with more of those. Can I just grab leaves or pale berries? Yeah, grab leaves. I didn't want leaves. Oh, well. Anyway, let's get back down here. And see if we can start setting up some stuff now. Um, I'm still going to have to deal with the power issue up here, but I have an idea of what I can do. Uh, now, the main thing we're going to need is we're going to need to set up a constructor here. Because I need to start building these... Um, reanimated SAM. And he takes 120 per minute and produces reanimated 30 per minute. And that guy over there is only producing 240 a minute, damn it. So we're okay for right now. Let's, um, let's see here. Let's throw a splitter in here. and build another one of these. And let's have you making uh, reanimated Sam as well. Now I'll need to power y'all up. And 
the reason I'm wanting to get this done is because I need this, what they call the dimensional debug, because I am honestly starting to get into trouble here, because I'm just having to carry so much stuff around with me all the time. I mean, this is what my inventory looks like now, and um, there's just tons of stuff that I need just for... So I'm going to just, for now, throw these into a container. This is not optimal, but I'll explain why in a minute. to grab some other things I needed. So, yeah, this is going to be a little shorter than I had planned here. Oh, well. Why am I carrying a stack of Sam around with me? Oh, well, we'll figure it out later. Okay. This I can at least research now. Sam Fluctuator Recipe Unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated Sam to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible potential for smart storage. Your threads shift solid to fluid to a tapestry. Matter, 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 and mind and melody. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Um, I did find one or two more Mercer Spheres, and Ada does have a few more things to say along the way. Um, I need these SAM fluctuators to do research here, and I need a um, Mercer Sphere for that. The um, problem is SAM fluctuators... I can manually build some, but in order to actually get any number of them, I'm going to need a manufacturer, because a manu if they take three um, inputs. We're at the point where we're about to unlock um, manufacturers, so it's not too much of a danger at this point. But it's just, we're not going to be too far behind at this point, but yeah, it's something we're going to have to keep in mind. Okay. Can I do anything else right now? Yeah, we can do energy harvesting. Potential for harnessing alien energy completed. Fixit has identified two development tracks requiring additional research to integrate summer sloops safely and efficiently into Fixit technology. The loop organ contains scripture, contains instruments to compose symphonies of root and rock and recycling. Shrines to evolution and revolution. I see. It seems we truly are building understanding. Okay, we got a couple of things we can do here. First of all, we can have the production amplifier. Production amplifier is something that I want to be able to do because it lets me throw a summer sloop into any machine and double its output for free. 
which means if it was producing 10 things a minute, now it's producing 20 things a minute, no matter what those things are. But I need circuit boards, which I haven't fully unlocked yet. Um, this thing will basically give me power for free. So it will vastly expand my electric generate power generation. It just depends on what I want to spend summer sleeps on. This is the dimensional depot, which I want, but I forgot to pick up my Mercer Sears before I ran over here, so we're going to have to wait till we can get back to that. So for now, let's see what else we can find down here. Okay. Nothing has really changed over here. Except I can build a fuel generator now. I have not done any more research or work in this general area. So this is um, exactly the same as it was before. The last time I gave you a tour. Um, I guess I noticed there's a power slug standing on top of that thing over there. How about that? I have not done much over here, but I, I do need to cut that tree down. I'm carrying biomass I don't want right now anyway. Why don't I just get rid of it while I'm here? Sorry, tree. There we go. Okay. That looks better. Okay. Now what I did up here is I did have one refinery built earlier, which is going to be taking 60 heavy oil residue per minute and giving me 40 fuel. Now if I remember up here, I was doing 40 on one side and um, 80 on the other side, so I needed 120. So, yeah, we can just split these guys down the middle. Let's see where can I line you up. Okay, is that lined up sitting the same way this one is? Yeah, it looks like it. And I'm going to confuse things for a minute here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... That's what I want. Run you straight across. Put a... Junction. Right here. Then over here where I have these two fluid buffers. I'm gonna run them straight across. And just line up another junction. It's weirdly responding, but okay. And there. These should all be carrying purple stuff now, so... And I'll need to power you, these two guys. You're converting 
60 heavy rescue and 40 fuel per minute, so I'm gonna have a total of 80 fuel per minute coming out of these two guys. Of course, I don't have any generators set up yet, but a generator, generators take a lot of space too. They're like three by three floor plans. So he can actually feed to fuel generators. I'll have to redo this whole thing in a minute. But and this isn't going to be a stable setup because everybody is busy. Um, right now, I'm just feeding off of what's in that fluid buffer because these guys are not producing anything because they're no, they're full of whatever they were producing so you've already got 200 plastic so you can't do it anymore i'm going to have to set up a sink for that sort of stuff so i'm not going to do the rest of this setup right now that was just a that's how our fuel generators are going to start working going forward And that really ugly change I made to my steel factory can go away. Because, not steel factory, my, that really ugly change I made to my um, down south coal plant can go away. I'm trying to figure out what to do about that down south coal plant. Um, there are three pure coal nodes down there and one normal node, which can run like 40, 45 um, coal generators. But I also found three pure iron nodes nearby, which means that could turn into an amazing steel production facility, especially with some of the updates I've got on steel right now. Oh, I keep mentioning that coal plant. Uh, you see right now my production, that's that my one fuel generator is in there is at 2200 my conception is just a consumption is just above 2200 but because not everything's running we're okay so we're getting close to where we can be self-sufficient again in the meantime let me come over here because i need to pick up some more um steel beams in order to feed the um feed the beast as it were Like I said, I did some work over here on this steel factory, so we'll update that. Oh, I forgot one of the things I needed to do. We gotta get Katarium production up and running. And there's a Katarium node over here that we can deal with. So, do I have space? Yes, I have space. So I'm gonna stop here real quick and pick up a portable miner, part three. Well, two is what I really need. Okay. 
because I'm going to have to be building a miner soon. This is the new improved steel factory. As you can see here, I'm taking two iron ingots and two coal and turning them into three, three steel ingots, which is a 50% upgrade. I'm no longer overclocking these guys. I went from four to six boundary levels up here. So, and each of them is now feeding a single um, constructor, converting those ingots into things. Because, see, I've got 60 coming out of it, 60, so that works fine. Now, I did offline unlock two new um, alternate recipes, both of which are being very useful over here. The first one is this guy, Steel Screws, which turns a single steel beam, even though it's only taking five per minute, into a breathtaking 52 screws a minute which is just insane. One goes into 50, and I could probably throw another constructor or two over here and just, because again, he's producing 15 per minute, and this guy's only using five, so I can throw two more constructors in and just get ridiculous amounts of screws. Over here, I am taking 18 steel beams per minute. Remember, I'm producing 15, so this guy's actually a little overclocked at this point. But I can probably underclock him and make it fit a little bit better, but he'll just stay starved. Or I can bring him extras from over here. We'll just have to see how that works. And um, he's producing encased industrial beams. We'll need those because with the um, what we have right now for the, um, we just unlocked Logistics Mark IV. Encased industrial beams are what you use to make your um, Mark IV belts out of. But I only reason six per minute, so, you know, not great. This is my standard steel beams over here, just for the sake of producing steel beams. Over here, I'm producing steel pipes for the sake of producing steel pipes. Um, and again, all these guys are optimized. Actually, he's not. I take that back. He's taking in 30 and producing... He's producing 60 and he's only taking in 30. I missed that. Okay. So I may have to do some cleanup here. I did my... I did my math wrong. Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, I'll, I was thinking these were taking 60 per minute, they're only taking 30. So I'm, my pipe side is only running at half of efficiency. Oh great, I get to expand this even further. Um, over here, we're producing staters as we were before. But over here, I my other alternate recipe is steel rotors. I can make rotors out of wire and pipe, just like staters. Which means my motor production can now be fully consolidated over here. Man, I can't believe I messed that up. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't think I can... And I think I'm now at the limit of what my copper production over here is. Because I'm only producing 120 wire per minute. All right, well, I just gave myself a, some more homework to do. Thanks for letting me talk to you about this so I can find my mistakes. Anyway, well, that is busy doing its thing over there. I'll have to rearrange that a little and get all that to fit on that increasingly narrow footprint. Let's go down and get some Katarium production produced, because Katarium will let me do advanced electronics, which I'm going to need for a lot of things. And it's going to let me, um, well, it's going to let me do advanced electronics. Now, I had found 
a Katarian node over here earlier. There we are. Yeah, right there. Only there's actually a closer way to get to it. I just discovered it randomly when I was out hunting for, um, who are you? Okay. I just discovered it randomly when I was out looking for other stuff. buddy. Okay, this is our Katarium node over here. There's actually two or three out of them here, so there's some just raw ore here. But this is another case where it's sitting on top of, has a rock sitting on top of it. That's okay. We have high explosives. He's fine. I did clear a rock like that. Actually, I was clearing one of the gas pillars, what I call the fart rocks, and killed a pair of uh, fluffy tail hogs. Oops. Did, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to hurt you. It was just, you know. There you go. Okay, let's see if this will set up properly. Nope, too high up. Weird. Okay. What is going I guess because of the slope it's on? Okay, you want to really be down low in this one, don't you? Okay. You're going to be producing 120 per minute. And I'm going to need to make you have you run through foundries so you can turn that into ore. And then we can turn that ore into, um, so into, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> into Katari ore. And quick work. So let me clean up this area before I bury all this stuff under a uh, wall of factory. As Ada is fond of telling me, we're fixed it. We do not waste. So do not waste this stuff. Let's get some stuff started here. Any left? Okay. I 
think I'm going to be floating in the air above this stuff after a little bit anyway, so. I need to make this, like, five wide. Yeah, we are going to grind it over here. Okay, so we're so let's throw a smelter or two up and see what we're dealing with. Okay, to make terium ingots, I need, oh, 45 per minute. And I'm producing 120. So I can actually underclock you slightly. I don't need five here, I only need three. That's okay, so we're the right size now. Out of boundary, a smelter, idiot. Okay. There you are. There you are. I only want you all to be doing 120 per minute, so that's, um... Output of 12 per minute? Is that correct? No. I hate math. Okay. And I'm an engineer. So let's see here. 40 divided by 45 times 100 is 88.889%. Okay. There we go. Copy and paste you, copy and paste you, okay. Throw a splitter right here. And yes, I know I have a perfectly valid um, hot bar down there that I just keep forgetting I have stuff. I don't want a conveyor pole. What am I trying to do? Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's get this up and running. And since I have some Tarium in my hand, I'm just going to put it in there just to get rid of it. There we go. Let's run a power line down here. And I think my power line is actually more or less in sight. Yeah, it's right here. This is my main power grid. And I'll move this stuff around in a little bit. But okay. You start doing your thing. Yeah, you notice I'm getting low on cable. guys are all producing 13 and a third per minute. So I'm going to need another... I'm going to need some constructors. Which will let me decide how many... Um, see how constructors work for Katarium War. And honestly, I find it easier a lot of times just to plop a machine down and look to see what it really is. Okay. Quick wire, I take 12 per minute and produce 50. Or 60. Now you're 
producing slightly more than 12 per minute, but honestly, not enough for me to be upset about at this point. So I'm just going to slap three constructors down. And I'm just going to feed y'all for now. I'm losing like four Katarian war per I'm using like losing like four Katarian war per minute, which means I'm losing like 20 quick wire per minute. I don't think I'm going to have any problems. Because this isn't the only Katarian site on the planet. There's a Katarian site up near that coal plant I was talking about. But I just need to get everything up else up and running first. And it occurs to me that I was over there at my... And it occurs to me that I was way back there at my steel plant and I forgot to pick up the steel I needed for the... Um, I forgot to pick up the steel I needed for my, um, unlock. Okay. I swear I spend most of my time in, um, satisfactory running in circles. Okay. Because I forgot to pick up the one thing I needed before I left that other factory location. Yay. Okay. that. Get rid of this dangerously low-hanging power line. Okay. Let's go back to my steel plant and get that those steel beams I need. Still can't believe I messed up that hand. Did I just put an industrial storage there and not plug it in? <sighs> Still can't believe that I did the um, steel beams wrong. If you're wondering where that cable goes, there's a sulfur mine down there. I just haven't bothered to pipe to convey it up any place useful. Should probably just put a depot right here next to this little trail. So when I run past it, I can get it. But all this stuff, I'm starting to get to the point where things I need are all over the map. So I'm going to have to start setting up production lines or transportation lines. At some point, I'm going to get my trains unlocked and we're going to go from there. Still can't believe I did this wrong. Ugh. And I'm going to outstrip my copper node. Or there's another copper node around here somewhere. Oh well. Uh, I need 400. I have like 250, so let's get the 400. Okay. Go back and connect the... Go back and connect my output. Then I need to go get some copper sheets. Drop off some stuff at my auxiliary power plant. And then we can run back and see what we can do with our getting a dimensional depot set up. And I'm going to show you how that works and why I want one so bad. Although I've got like 10 or 15 minutes left of this stream, so who knows. I miss the teleporter mod. You see, hey guy, see why I turned off my um, animal aggression? I just got tired of having to smack those things every time I went past. Did I run past it? Uh... Yep, it 
wasn't there yet. It's dark. Another thing I need to do, I need to get light. Ethereum for so I can get lights. Oh, and it's right here. Yeah, see, I did all this and then forgot to run it into. Now we got a bunch of Katari more, or quick wire for us to play with. I'm gonna grab a stack over here just so I can do some research on it. And storage is getting full again. Our inventory is getting full again. Hopefully that will not be a problem much longer. other problem I started to have is I had disassembled a lot of my factory over here with the intention of reassembling it, that monster you're seeing in front of us. And then I forgot to um, turn my um, copper factory back on. So I'm running a little low on copper related stuff. I have a temporary factory set up down here which is producing cables, which is the thing I to keep running out of. Yeah, see I have... There we go. That should be enough for now. But I'm having to feed it manually. Which one of you has cable? There you go. Okay. Well, we're running low on wire now. Great. Oh, I'm full. Yeah, that was that's the whole problem, isn't it? Um, was it, what was I just saying? Okay, you can make some more cables. Let's go over here. Have I shown you my secondary? Here's my secondary um, power plant up here. Again, I need to put roads up and signs so I can find these things. Okay. You can have all of these leaves. You can have the, this wood. And all of this is so that if I ever do blow my power grid, I'll be able to have a lot more smurred it. Where's everything? There it is. But yeah, this is going to be a monster when it's done. If it's done. I just need to sit here and do it. Okay. Now I can get you to... And I have some ingots so I can make more that way. But what I need now is I'm going to need a thousand of these. So I need five of these. I only have room for four. But I 
obviously copper getting copper production back online is gonna have to be one of my next priorities. I always think it's weird that it's darker in some areas than it is in others. Like you see it's night, but you can still kind of see here. But when I run over here and actually get out over this abyss out here. I mean, look how it look how it just gets really dark. Okay. And there's Lizard Doggo. Yes, he's found a rotor, but I can't pick it up. I'm sorry, Lizard Doggo. I'll pick it up in a minute. Okay, store that for now, store that for now. Now I can pick it up. Thanks, buddy. Okay, let's go over here. There we go. Milestone have... reached. Avoid the embarrassment of placing liquids in your pockets only for them to spread across your suit. Package and unpackage them with the packager. Packaging fluids allows them to be transported in your inventory, on conveyor belts, and by vehicles. For increased, non-pocket related fluid storage, you can now use the industrial fluid buffer. Alright. So our next, we completed tier 5. So now we're going to have to go to tier 6. Now, I'm going to need trains soonish. But we're going to go with industrial manufacturing first. And here's why. First of all, it gives us the manufacturer, which I need to make things. Like the modular engine and the adaptive control unit, which we need for the space elevator. Computers are useful for some things, and heavy modular frames we just need for this stuff. So we're going to have to do that first. I mean, that's basically where we are. Uh, cables. I'm going to have to get cave copper back online before I can do that. And beyond that, we just need a lot more of everything that we've got. I mean, from this point on, it's just going to be more of everything. Now, I can do some slight upgrades here. No, I can't because it's still sitting over there behind me. Okay. Mercer Sphere, Summer Sloop. There we go. And a single piece of no, Sam Moore that's just floating around for some reason. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Here. Dimensional Depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer Sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. Once parts are fed into the Dimensional Depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer Inventory and Build Gun System at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. Weave. Okay, but basically, as they said, I'm going to, I'm not sure I can even build one right now. Yeah, I need some more of those, whatever they are. Also needs a lot of copper wire, which as you saw, we're about to run out of. So, yeah, we got a problem going on right now I need to solve. Um, the advantage of this is that when we build it, and I may as well run over here so I can get it, I can feed the output of various things, of various machines, like my screws, my um, metal sheets and rods and that sort of stuff. And I can feed them into the Dimensional Depot, and then I can won't have to carry stacks and stacks of them around with me anymore. Because it'll save me running back and forth across the map whenever I forget something. Oh, 
but right now I need the one setter. Whoa. Did you just knock me off? I thought we were friends now. It occurs to me I could build a road up here. I mean, I can build things like that, but... Alright. And I forgot to do a bit of research. Okay. Yeah, you're... You've got a bunch of these now, so we're doing good here. Take Sam. Yeah, okay. Got rid of that extra one I was carrying around. Build some fluctuators, because I'm going to need those. Yeah, the freighter just came back, but I don't have a thousand cables at this point. So I'm just gonna have to... Looks like copper is gonna have to take priority very, very soon. Over here... Um... Oh yeah, this was where I was. Did I not pick up 50? How many did I pick up? Oh, I picked up quick wire, not raw ore. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. I'm already making quick wire, but I don't have haven't researched it yet. That'll teach me. Uh, is there anything else I can work on at this point? Not right at this point. Okay. So, um. Yeah, that's the thing that just happened. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to stop right here then. And we can come back up here later. And But for right now, we can look out across our domain, as it were. As I bring this into an end, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer. And, well, you've heard the list of what I'm going to have to do next time. And... I may do a little cleanup, but I think most of it we will see each other and do next time.